Hey guys, today I want to show you how to make animated video with stable diffusion that is so realistic. It's like a real person posing or dancing in front of you. Have you ever watched videos like this on TikTok or Instagram? Those internet influencers account, the model looks so real. But some of it, they are actually not the real person. It is created by AI-generated videos or images. Well, realism-style images are easy as we explore in previous video using Stable Diffusion Realistic Vision AI model. But what about videos? How did this video look so smooth like a real person dancing in front of camera? Let me show you how. To get started, we use a Stable Diffusion Automatic 11 on 11 extension called Move to Move. I find this is the easiest method to make video looks like a real person in front of a camera. I find other methods like Stable Warp Fusion or Runway ML do have similar features like Move to Move, but their output videos are kind of funky and frames are not consistent as always. So I have choose to use Move to Move for this kind of videos. Also the Move to Move extensions are pretty easy to set and run. It's not too complex like Stable Warp Fusion that you have to install other plugins and run the script through Google Colab on the cloud or even run the script in local PC, I still have to boot up the program through Google Colab. Now, I have already installed into my automatic one of 11 extensions already. The installation is pretty easy. All you need to do is go to extensions, then install from URL, go to the GitHub page of move to move extension and press the code label green button on the top, then copy the URL. Once you have the URL, paste it into the install from URL text box in your automatic 1111 press install, then restart your UI. Once your stable diffusion automatic 1111 restarted, you will see a new tab called Move to Move. Now we will see web interface similar to text to image or image to image tab. In here, we will need some prompts to tell the AI what kind of style we would like to have for the output video video for AI to initialize are going to be placed on here. Below that, it is all the setting parameters you will need to do later. Now, as this video, I want to generate realism display. And for the checkpoint model, I am using Realistic Vision 5.1. Simply drag and drop the video files to this box. Let's preview this again. Okay, the hip-hop girl dancing are going to the example we are doing. Once I confirm the video, I am going to copy and paste the prompts into the text box, also for the negative prompts as well. Confirm all set, then scroll down to setting below. For setting, I am going for DPM plus plus 2S A Karas for sampling method. Sample steps, I am going for 30. Width and height, I am going to use the same dimension as the original video. You can set the width and height smaller if you GPU do not have high processing and storage do not have that much. Now, for CFG scale, I am going for 9. Denoising strength. The good range for realism will be 0.3 to 0.4. And this time, let's try 0.33. Seed number, you can copy from your previous image generate for the specific image generate you prefer. Max frames, you can set the number of frames that the output video generate. 
For this tutorial, I am going to generate the full video from the source video. So I set it to one, leave it as default. Now, it is important to enable ControlNet to get better result for character pose and moment. Therefore, I am using open pose control type as usual. As in the previous video, we have talk about DW pose extension to have more detail body structure detection. So I'm going to use that and try it. Lastly, we are setting the control mode to control net is more important. So it will be generate smooth and consistent moment as the source video. Now, let me check everything if we are missing. Then we can start process the generation. Check the command prompt windows and it is starting to process. As you can see, stable diffusion have detected there have 328 images to process for this video. That means it will create 328 image frame by frame from the original video to the AI video. It will take 10 steps for each image processing. Therefore, the total processing steps for the AI are going to be 3280 in this scenario. Now, let's wait for the generation. In the meanwhile, do not touch anything on the web, UI and the command prompt windows. If you find the output video style is not what you want, you can go back to the settings section afterwards and fine tune your setting and generate again. It should take a while for this process. So I'm going to fast forward for you here. Okay, looks like it's done after my dinner and a coffee. As you can see, the command prompt windows have 100% completed. Let's check the result and put it side by side with the original video. As you can see, both videos speed a difference because I was setting the output video to 30 frames per second and the original video a difference rate. I have another example done. Let's check the realistic style a close to real one. And as this example, we have the character face show up. It can tell the difference of AI generate people face are not the same. That means you can use difference checkpoint model and LoRa's model to create another character that doing the same dancing or modeling catwalk like those IG or TikTok AI influencers do. Pretty cool, huh? It's like those video you saw in the Instagram or TikTok, right? I hope this tutorial do inspire you. Until then, I will see you in the next video.